So let's say that you want to layer a sprite on top of a sprite, like this sword sprite on top of our character to make this sword swing animation. And you would have to use a container for that. So again, all the images are in the description. Make sure it's in the right folder. And as always, we load in the sprite. In this case, I know the frame width and height are 192. So since the sprite doesn't have a sword animation swing, we'll just use one that does from our texture atlas. I've created two animations ahead of time, so namely Mandy sword left and sword left. And in this case, I know these numbers correspond to the left swing. There's nothing new that we haven't went over. So in create, we'll assign this dot player to our newly created container and we'll place the container at 200, 200. The container takes an array of children and you can think of it as a box that holds sprites and among other things. So we'll create our character and the sword sprite at 0, 0, and that's because their positions are relative to the container. So they're going to use the container as a starting point. Alright, so we'll make it so whenever you press F, we'll play the animations of the two sprites at the same time in the container. And the index of them is the order you passed in when you created them. And I recommend using a custom class for a container so you can set this dot weapon to the weapon rather than using the index. If you're using TypeScript, you can cast any variable as any type so you can get the autocomplete. And there we go. So of course you can enable a hitbox on the sword and do all the other directions, but we'll fix this up later. Moving on to scaling, we'll need to upgrade our version of Phaser to 3.16. And there's a lot of breaking changes. So with key events, it's a very subtle one though. It's just an underscore to a dash. And there are a lot more, and I recommend reading the change log in case upgrading breaks your game. So upgrading is pretty straightforward. Just download the latest version of the phaser and replace it with the file that you're referencing in the source of the index HTML. You may need to restart Parcel, but in case, in this case, it worked. Also make sure to upgrade your typings. Again, just download and replace. And I would open the file in VS Code and scroll around a little in case it doesn't reload. Now in main.ts, we can add a scale object and a scale mode property. And there are a lot of scale modes that you can play around with, but the two interesting ones are envelope, which tries to fill the entire screen and it can overextend. So as you can see, you can see scroll bars. And there's fit, which will constrain itself a bit more so it won't go too overboard but the caveat is that there could be extra space that doesn't fill. I prefer fit though, but to get rid of the scroll bars, we'll need to set overflow to hidden and remove all the padding and the margin. We can also center the game now with auto center. All right, so to distribute your game on GitHub, you just throw the disk folder that Parcel generates onto GitHub pages. I recommend first that you delete all the files except for the assets folder because Parcel regenerates everything else. So run Parcel, build index.html, and it will regenerate those files. The difference being now is that we have a lot less files and it's more optimized for the web. In the generated index.html though, you will need to add a dot on the paths if there isn't one already, otherwise it won't work on GitHub. All right, so create a new repo on GitHub, we'll leave everything else as default. and we'll only be needing to use the bottom two commands. So I'm not gonna go over Git at all. There's a good 30 minute crash course that I'll link if you wanna get good. And it should cover everything, but anyways, in our dist folder, open a command prompt into this directory, type in git init, copy and paste the first command, add all your files, 
add your username, add your email. I recommend using the one GitHub provides in settings, email. And git commit dash M and then any message you want really. And then lastly, push to GitHub. And all these commands are in the description, by the way, so don't worry if you miss anything. So lastly, in your repo, go to settings, go to GitHub pages and point it to the master branch. And your game should be up on the domain slash index.html. All right, guys, so I feel pretty satisfied that I've created a good alternative. Well, not good, but free alternative to Zenva. And yeah, covered enough of what the community wants to know about tile maps. That was the biggest one that everyone was requesting. Another huge complaint is that I don't cover JavaScript and Phaser. And there's a good reason for that, and I'll go over that in a second. But anyways, I may or may not do a live stream or just a long chill video finishing up the game and tidying things up. And yeah, we have everything in the play scene at the moment. And that's because I was too, well, it was more simple to stay in one file. Anyways, so part of the game I had in mind is that it's about rescuing NPCs and then having them follow you while you defend them from surrounding monsters and then guide them to a gate. And then maybe some of them you've rescued return to help you in the next boss or so. And really that was only a small part of what I had in mind. Like I wanted a large world with like multiplayer and a lot of skills and like story dialogue and oh my god. So I really am going to put this series on a pause because Uno, I am working on a game that's pretty massive scale and I really want to ship it this year. And Dos, I want to branch out from JavaScript and teach general programming for complete beginners among other things. And part of this is because I was very enthusiastic about making games like you are now. And the resources I followed back then assumed some programming skills. And yeah, basically everything breaks down eventually. And I was trying to run at the time when I didn't know how to walk. So I broke my legs. But now that I'm more competent, I want to give you guys legs. Not literally. I want to help build strong legs. I mean, fundamentals to get people out of programming tutorial hall.